Jesse Bird, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, there's a couple of things going on. First off, we have a visitor at the campsite, apparently according to Isabel. We also have a Nook Miles somewhere, a dream house. Oh yeah, a home you build yourself gives you greater livability. It's on a whole nother, other level. I'll give Nook Miles to those who build or expand their home to taste the good life. So as you can see, our final home expansion is here with 5,000 Nook Miles. Pretty cool. And over this way, we have some mail. We also have a gyroid waiting for us. So let's take a look at this. We have a message from Happy Home Academy. Congratulations, to celebrate the new addition to your home, please accept this gift. Having plants around can make you feel nice and relaxed. Feel free to create your own, very own oasis. Awesome, so we'll take that. We also have something from Pashmina. Would you believe I found some furniture I don't use anymore just lying around? How do you lose a whole piece of furniture? Life, I'm telling you. Just be careful with it. I don't know where it's been. Good luck, Pashmina. Well, thank you, Pashmina. Tom Nook also has a letter for us. You previously used Nook Miles to obtain the pro decorating license, but Paradise Planning let me know that they would like to recover it in, would like to cover it instead. I've refunded you 2,500 miles. Use them on something fun, hmm? All right, that's cool. We got a refund and then a message from mom. Something about seeing piles of colorful leaves everywhere puts me in the, uh, in the mood to bake. Pies, cakes, muffins, biscuits, I can't fight this. I won't. I think I need a bigger fridge, mom. All right, well, thank you, mom. So let's take a look at all the stuff we have then. So first off, um, we still have, I guess, oh yeah, this is all the stuff I bought for the most recent episode of a Happy Home Paradise. I was like, what is this stuff? <laughs> totally forgot. Um, we also got some free stuff from the villagers there themselves. By the way, we have a present here. This is uh, a Monstera. We have a present that is a silver mic. I think that might be what Pashmina gave us. I guess that's furniture. And then uh, a mom's cool kitchen mat. Oh, that'll be perfect for a kitchen that we will eventually one day work on. Anyways, whoop. We get ourselves a gyroid. We dug up a wallopoid. That's an interesting one. All right then, so let's go ahead and plonk that into our room of gyroids and see what kind of sounds it makes. But yeah, things are coming along quite nicely, but before we do that, we gotta check out our brand new house upgrade, the basement, right down here, look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. Whoa, it's huge. So I definitely wanna set up a very special room in here, I wanted to set up the Mario room. But we're gonna do, save that for later, for now, like we might do it later in today's episode, we might do next episode, it really depends on what time we have. But, let's go to the gyroid room for right now and sort of see what we can get done. Because first I want to uh, turn these guys off so we can just hear the brand new gyroid. And then this guy and the bell, there we go. Um, which was an easier way to do that, but we're just gonna place this guy. I like it. So he quite literally plonks around. I think that's why they call him the plonkoid or whatever it was. So we wanna make sure there's enough space to scoot in between each one. Yeah, I wish there was a way to, oh, I can select multiple. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's convenient. Um, Wish there was a way to activate them more easily. Either way, okay. There you go. Perfect. So yeah, they all play a little tune together now. That's what you love to see. Okay, so that's really good to get that done. I figure we'll you know, spend some time running around town and see what we can get done. Of course, since we paid off that big loan last episode, we don't have much money, unfortunately. But I can put some of this stuff away. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for just yet. I could also you know, try some of this. We got the great Argy argyle flooring. We had the monochromatic tile flooring. Looking pretty cool, but I think we'll keep with our typical stuff for right now. And everything else that we bought, the evergreen ash, the garden table, full length mirror, TV with VCR, all good stuff just to sort of put away for now. Oh yeah, our storage should be increased as well. Small vase, and we also have the souvenir chocolates, which I definitely wanna use in an episode of uh, the Happy Home Paradise. Oh, that is so cute, I love that. We will definitely make use of that at some point. Uh, the silver mic, I guess we could put in the music room, and the Monstera. Well, there we go. Um, 
yeah, so with that, I think we're just good to get out of here for right now and sort of focus on our daily chores and stuff. I don't know how much money there is to make, but I definitely want to talk to the one villager. I want to go see Brewster because I forgot to do that last episode. There, There's still things to do for sure, even if there's not a ton of money to be made today. But I guess we'll find out as we run around. I do see the opportunity for a money tree all the way over to the left there. One thing I have to do is start shaking trees more. Just in general. I don't know if I'm gonna shake every tree we walk by, but I might just wanna give a couple of them a shake, you know? But it is raining, which I'm pretty sure makes it so that there's a higher chance of fish showing up, so maybe there's something we could do there. Hi, Pashmina. Thank you for the letter earlier. Well, you're up early, kidders. Good morning. Uh, what's the latest? I think you're 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 better at this morning than, than I am, kidders. Maybe I am, but I think you're doing great. Anyways, uh, so far, I don't see too much going on yet. Most of our fruit and stuff, since we picked it all yesterday, shouldn't be growing in just yet. We'll look around for it, you never know. Oh, here's Kyle. Hey, buddy, like your umbrella. What's the latest, Alpha? Let's chat. I don't like to think of the rain as the sky crying. It'll ruin the sky's mascara. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, there's a mushroom over here. I haven't seen this one too often, so that's pretty good to grab. Yeah, I wanna grab some of these. Oh, here's a stew. I definitely need more manila clams. We actually need manila clams for a cooking recipe even, so worth grabbing these. I'll grab this one real quick. Hi, Stu. Hey, it's Zebra. Uh, what's the latest? I like stripe on a trainee, but I'm gonna get all pruney if I don't stop soon. Yikes. Nobody likes getting all pruney, but we do get eight enough miles for talking to three villagers. Might as well claim that. We also have some for going to Brewster's, uh, the roost, of course, but I'll do that soon. Or the group stretching session. That'd be fun. I don't think there's anything extra to unlock by doing the stretching. It's just sort of a nice thing to do. And I guess you get those enough miles, but you know what I mean. Oh, what's up, RNZ? Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to hit you with a shovel. Hi there, Biff. Hey, you like reactions, right? I love them. Watch this. Achoo. Oh gosh, <laughs> that was quite a sneeze. Oh, but it didn't scare anyone. Some think sneezing is contagious, but that's not true, right? Why are you making that face, Squirt? Achoo. Woo. There's nothing like a good sneeze. See for yourself with the sneezing reaction. All right, another reaction unlocked to the sneeze. I earned the sneezing reaction. Achoo. All right, well, there we go. Make sure to wash your hands or paws or hooves or whatever you may have after you sneeze. Oh, over this way, I do see a fossil. Pretty good, the first one up there, that's a big fish. Okay, the angling sort of made it look bigger than it was. Uh, but I might as well go for some fish today. I think that's something I wanna do soon. Uh, maybe more in today's episode. I need to look at what fish we can even get during this season and make sure we're all caught up on it before the season ends. Because I think we have a little while. Whoa, but it'll happen faster than you expect. You know, we got a uh, black bass here, which I think I also need for a cooking recipe. So we'll definitely hold on to that one for a bit. Yeah, I think we're actually pretty much caught up with this portion of the island. I don't see any other, oh, there's a snail. Oh, I scared him off. That's okay. I think we've already called a snail before. Hmm. Anything going on over here, really? I do see this one shell. How's our inventory? Not too bad. Whoop. That's not quite gonna get their attention. Let's try that out. But we'll probably be, be we should see most of the fishing from we go to other islands. There we go. Fish are really biting today. They're just like one bite and they pull down. Get a red snapper, which once again, I think is another thing I could use for a recipe. So that's cool. Oh, so yeah, this is a weird spot for the uh, the money tree, but it's here. You can also talk to our villager that's visiting in the campsite. But how much money do I have? I have 6,000. So I might save that until I have more money in my pockets. For right now, let's go into here. And chat with whoever might be hanging out. Oh, hey. It's Bones. It's a bunch of fun camping on this island. The air smells good like food. I wanna bite it, yip yip. This guy is cute. Hey, do you wanna play a little game with me? If you win, I'll give you a biker jacket as a prize. Sounds good. 
Cool, okay, let's get started then. Do you need me to explain the rules? Uh, yes, please. Okay, so all these cards got one of the these patterns. Hard Diamond, Spade, or Club. Okay. I'm gonna draw one card, and you gotta guess what color the pattern on that card is. You get it right, you win my biker jacket. All right, let's start. So, it's a pattern on this card I just drew, red or black. Red. Let's see, the answer is black, Oh darn. The answer is club. Oh, that's black. You got it wrong. I win. Sorry, but that means no prize for you. You could probably get a hug though, if you want. I love hugs. <laughs> I was so excited I forgot to breathe. I get all nervous when I'm checking the results. Oh, let's keep talking to Bones. The best thing about camping is making new friends in new lands. I met a new bug friend today, and I invited them to bring their in their family over for snacks. That's cool. Hey, do you want to play a little game with me? You went I'll give you my bathrobe as a prize. Okay, sounds good. So you don't need to explain the rules. I think I get the idea. First, I'm gonna mix up all the cards real good. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right, which of these patterns, heart, diamond, speed, or club is on this card? I'm gonna do red diamond. Let's see what the answer is. Darn, it's black club again, twice in a row. What are the chances? Oh, no dice. I win. Sorry, but that means no prize for you. You could probably get a hug though if you want. Okay, so he's saying the same thing. I wanna win at least one prize from this guy. Try hard to make sure I don't forget anything when I go camping. I've got my tent, jammies, pillow, blankie, and my stuffed best friend, bug face, for cuddling. I got my potato chips, tomato chips, pickle chips, shrimp chips, chocolate chips, spicy chips. I got everything I need to be comfy except for my TV. I forgot my TV! Oh man, oh man! Maybe I get up and get a TV? I came to camp with this island because I had a dream that I lived here and I had fun every day. What do you think about my dream, Zebra? Uh, come back anytime. I will. It was a good dream, and the real island is even better, yet yet. Camping is food is all about s'mores, chocolate graham crackers, and a toasty marshmallow. Man, I wish I could eat s'mores at home. Too bad there's no way to toast to toasty a marshmallow without fire. I mean, you could probably do it over a stove. Hey, do you want to play a little game with me? If you want, I'll give you my fuzzy vest as a prize. Okay, so let's try for the fuzzy vest. We gotta win something. Okay, first I'm gonna mix up the cards real good. I'm gonna go red diamond again. Oh, it can't be black club three times in a row. <laughs> All right, but watch though. This is what happens. The moment I choose black club, it's gonna be red diamond. I win. Sorry for things in pressure. We're gonna try one more time. Let's see if he says anything new. I've only been here a day, but I love the sound. It's almost as much as peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I hope I get to live on this island like. Uh, and I'm like this one day, yep, yep. I hope you do too. Sorry, our island's sort of full. Thanks, I know if I keep camping around, I'm gonna find the perfect island, yep, yep. You can hear way more outside noises in a tent than in a house. I can hear way more house noises when I'm in a tent inside of, instead of outside. But I never hear tent noises, no matter where I put it. Sometimes science is weird, yep, yep. I mean, I'm sure you could hear the wind like ruffling the tents, you know, fabric. Man, isn't this tent great? It's a really easy one that you pull out of your pocket and pop right up. The hard part's what I got when I gotta go home. It's real hard to fold up. I don't think I can do it alone, yep, yep. Oh, <laughs> I get you, tents are difficult. I was thinking about camping, it's making new friends and new lands. Okay, so now he's starting to repeat himself a little bit. So let's see if we can't just get... Oh, here we go, this is new. I picked, this is the place to go after I threw a handful of jelly out of map and mostly splatted here. Camping sounded like more fun than cleaning up my map, so I came here. This place doesn't have jelly maps, but it has real nice folks. I'm not ready to go home tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have a good flight. Yeah, I'm gonna go back home and see about cleaning up that jelly. Oh, we can beat again. I just want one more chance at that game. Came to camp with the island because I, did, yeah. That's, that's funny, because he just said that he came to the island for some other reason. <laughs> Keeps changing his story. I don't know if I, I can get another chance. Okay, so he's not really giving me any other chances. I'm guessing that means that I've sort of ran through them. Uh, a little unfortunate, I tried very hard to get something there. Did not get anything, because it was club three times in a row. What are the odds of that? 
Um, anyways, we're just gonna run around looking for fossils and stuff and do whatever other things we can do. Because one big goal I have for right now is to earn up enough money so that we can start adding to Harvey's Island so that more villagers can show up. That's something I really wanna do. I don't think it's something I'll be able to afford as of today, because it's gonna be 100,000 bells each. So that's pretty pricey, but at the least it could be content. Hi, Apple. Hi there, cheekers. I wanna chat. To be honest, Toad's honest, this is the time of day when I get the sleepiest. I get you. It's noon, it's rainy, a little dark. I wanna go for a little nap. Okay. So I think we'll, we'll save the rock for later. For now, I'm just gonna go, yeah, especially across here, we have a ton of shells to grab. I definitely want to sell. Got more clams popping up, but I could always run around and try to focus on clams later. There we go, we also got a message in a bottle. I'll read through that in just a moment. Not seeing any other fossil spots, but I'm pretty sure they'll, oh, there'll only be four today. When you don't play for a while, there's six. Oh, uh, we have Sahara. So Sahara, Sahara shows up pretty often but some of the others just don't, it's weird. Okay, well, we'll just climb up there real fast so we can say hi to Sahara, maybe buy something. We might as well, you know? Don't get the chance to see Sahara every day. Hi, Sahara. Hello, you are calling me Sahara for it is the name I've carried for as long as I've carried these rugs. Okay, this time I want to do uh, a mysterious wallpaper, because I think last time we did a rug. Mysterious wallpaper is a mere 3,000 bells. Do the bells have the ring of truth for you? Yes. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll get ourselves some mystery wallpaper. Hopefully it's not a repeat. I don't know if that, that's, that can actually happen or not. You'll want to see a Sahara again, yes? Decorating with this will make you restless uh, for more mystery. Is your wallet not content, or shall you make additional purchases? I'm not interested. I will visit again. They are wild to find togetherness in the future. I agree. So it looks like, oh, Lionel's home. Hard to tell because the curtain's closed, but I guess the light is on. Okay. Hi there. Buongiorno, Zebra. I've been brushing up on my Spanish since we last met. I'm pretty sure that's not Spanish. That buongiorno is Italian. Yo, you wanna chat? I don't blame you precisely. Uh, let's talk. I heard through the orange vine that you've been excavating a ton of fossils lately, precisely. I always wonder what kind of design or clothes those ancient creatures like to wear. I love this house. I feel like it's been up to since I've last been in here. Very classy. All right, we'll see you, Lionel. Not quite done for today, though. I want to, uh check out some other houses, keep going for more stuff. So does that mean that Rolf is home? I guess so. Okay, well, hopefully he's got some conversation for us. My cast is your cast, as I believe the saying goes. <laughs> I wanna chat. You got a friend who's like that one friend, that one who call you, who all the stories are about? Cause I sure do. He's got one of those smart watches, you know? The ones that think they're smarter than you. So so he says, watch this, and then he starts pressing the screen left and right and up and down. Nothing's happening, except for his face getting redder and redder. <laughs> day I let a watch out smart me as a day I retire. A toaster though, that thing's got a mind of its own. <laughs> All right, see ya, Ralph. Looks like he's cooking up some, some stuff there on the bottom left. I love his because it's so much different than Lionel, and Lionel's just his neighbor. It's fun to have differences like that. Okay, so down here, just wanna do a quick check for the fossil. I don't think it's here, so we're gonna keep going. And right up this way, might as well talk to Sally as well, and I think, still need to talk to Celia, but then I think that's all the villagers. Yeah, I think I've, I've, I've said hello to everybody else. Hi, Sally. Afternoon, Nutmeg. Come by and relax here anytime. Stop for a chat. It's easy to forget the, to appreciate yourself, to ignore what you most like seeing in the mirror. I'm pretty sure it's my tail, the way it curls. I hope that wasn't too much just now. We should all like our curls if we have them, Nutmeg. 
course it's not too much. I'm glad you like your cross. That's that's very important. Okay, so so far things are going pretty good. I don't think I need to water my plants today, seeing how it's raining. I don't know if that's really required, so I probably won't bother. Save our durability on our watering can or whatever. But we might as well run around up here. We do have some mushrooms and weeds waiting for us. You can see that our wheat is growing in, but you can see it's sparkling, because of course, it, it's already watered. Pretty cool. So everything is well on its way. Glad to see it. Over this way, though. Well, big jump. I'm not seeing that fourth fossil, so I missed it somewhere. Actually, yeah, fourth. I thought that for a second I only had two. Which is weird, I thought I was pretty thorough today, but I suppose not enough. But for now, let's grab this extra mushroom here and there. And I guess I'll keep looking for it as we do some other stuff. I need to also get the money rock, so if I could dig that up and dig this up. Not the money rock, but hey, maybe we could get something out of it. Even the clay and iron nuggets, it goes to something. I don't know if I need the rocks too much. There has to be something we can craft with rocks that I can just craft a million times and just sell. So I'll have to look into that kind of thing. But in the meantime, let's run to our next rock and see if we can't say hello to Celia. Hmm. Aha, here it is. So I, I walked right by it before. Okay, so now we have, no, that's a gyroid. Look, I dug up a sprawlingoid. I like it, so we'll put that in our room soon enough. But that does lead me to question, is there going to be a fourth fossil or maybe the gyro takes up a fossil slot? Who knows? But I do see some fish swimming around. Might as well go for it. There we go. And yeah, I was expecting a black bass. That's, that's what we get. Over this way, this is looking a little bit smaller, so it's, it's very likely not a black bass. Guess we'll find out. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, I got too excited. I thought that was gonna be it for sure. Try not to overthink it, but oh well. Okay, so is Celia home? It looks like her light's on. So let's say hi, oh and Gigi, we haven't said hi to Gigi yet. I don't know why I thought we did. So Celia and Gigi, we have so many villagers. Try to keep up with everybody. But ooh, she's cooking something. When I'm cooking all my worries just melt away, feathers. What are you making? Hehe, <laughs> I'm making my own specialty. It's Carrot Tops Curry. Oh, here you can have my recipe for Carrot Tops Curry. Well, thank you very much. If you gather the ingredients, you can make your own tasty dish. Awesome. All right, we'll see ya. So that's cool. We uh, got a new recipe, so I'll learn that soon. But let's run over to Gigi real quick and try to look, see how she's doing before I forget. But also, oh yeah, I didn't hit the shrock over here. Let me go do that real fast too. Before we get too far ahead of, ahead of ourselves. Where is it? It is right here hidden by the tree. Yeah, this is not the uh, money rock. But I'm hearing some iron nuggets and stuff, so that's good. Might as well grab it. And, let's go over here now. Okay, so for this one, dig right there, dig right here. We get back to it. This one's not giving me too much. It's mostly rocks. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's been the most rocks we've seen for a while. But okay, we got it. Either way. Not too much going on over that way. Let's go for this one then. This has got to be it. Ready? Nope. <laughs> Still hoping for a golden nugget soon. We just haven't run into one of those in a while. Is this one gonna be all rocks? Oh my gosh, almost. What is with, I know that it's a rock. Of course, if you hit it, more rocks are gonna fall off. But usually, there's a higher density for 
nuggets and clay and stuff than there are rocks. That's a bit of a weird change of pace. I gotta clear out these flowers soon because they are sort of spreading, which is, you know, it's cool to see them grow, but that is not the vision I had in mind when I first planted them. So it must be the one by Gigi's. Oh, whoops, okay. I'm not really getting much for this. So that one really was all rocks. But while we're running by my house, I should go ahead and customize this. A lot of you have let me know that uh, customizing it will basically refill the uh, durability, which is pretty convenient. We've been hitting rocks a lot, so I'm sure it's, it's coming up. So let's customize something. Got our shovel. Then you can make it fancier, but uh, apparently I don't have the materials. What do you mean? I thought it, oh, I thought I needed an iron nugget to, oh, never mind. I don't have that then. Oh, really? Okay, that's so weird. I thought I needed just another iron nugget to customize it. You can even customize the gyroids, which is pretty cool. Okay, we'll leave that be then. I mean, I need to make nook miles by building uh, stuff anyways. So I think it's fine either way. But it is good to keep in mind for later. Here we go, money rock time. Okay. Perfect. So that is gonna be a decent amount of cash, enough so so that I can run over and put my 10,000 bells in that one hole. We can grow the money tree right here, pretty conveniently, very close. So I know that there's one growing near, I think, Rolf's house. So let's take out 10,000 bells and bury it in the hole. And we'll come back to that in a couple of days. Perfect. Okay, let's say hi to Gigi and then we'll be done with saying hello to everybody for today. But so far, some pretty good progress. We still need to go to Kappen's Islands and stuff and go see uh, Brewster at the Roost. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much for coming to, by to see me, Rivat. What's the latest? It's important for each of us here on this, the island to get to know one another better, don't you think? It'll all bring us together, darling, I'm sure of it. In fact, there's something I'd like to ask you, if you don't mind. What is your very favorite drink? I'd love to know, Rabat. Black tea, lemonade, smoothies, or something else. Uh, I don't know what my favorite drink is. I mean, of course, I enjoy a soda every once in a while. Maybe more than I should. Something else, we'll just say soda. There you go. Hmm, soda. Did I hear that right? Yep, that's right. Hmm, I don't think I've ever tried it. Soda, eh? Well, if you like it, I have no choice but to give it a go. You're quite the tastemaker after all. Well, thank you. Definitely give soda a try. There's lots of different flavors. I recommend Dr. Pepper as my favorite. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna keep moving for now. I think that, you know, with the money buried, we're just gonna run over to Brewster's real fast before we head home to organize some stuff. I don't think I currently have all the materials I need for cooking, but you never know. Because like I said, I got some fish that I needed for cooking before. So I don't have, actually, no, I do. I was gonna say, I don't have anything for blathers, but I have fossils to assess. Just a typical though, so nothing too exciting here. Okay, so we'll run up over here to the roost and enjoy some coffee. All right. Hello there, Brewster. Welcome to the roost. Ooh, I have a seat at the counter. What if I could just keep talking to him? I have a seat at the counter. Okay, this does the same thing. Okay. Hey, buddy. Coffee is 200 bells a cup, cool. How about it? One, please. Sure. I love how it has this little logo on the cuff. I didn't notice that before. The nice little attention to detail. You can see it has his own little line of coffee grinds and stuff in the background too. It is so adorable. It's best to drink it fresh before it cools. I'll do just that. It's perfect just as it is. Just the right amount of acidity and full bodied flavor. I wouldn't add a single thing. Oh, 
Okay, well, another day, another coffee. Thank you very much. Starting tomorrow, you're welcome to come around and order the counter to the right. Oh, you can order coffee to go from there. Huh. So we've earned a way into ordering more of the menu. That's an interesting sales pitch. But either way, we get 300 miles for it, so I'll gladly take that. And we need to catch two more fish. We need to sell or spend bells to buy items. We'll probably do that. Complete DIY projects. There's lots to do. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so we're heading home. Got a couple things I gotta do in here. First off, I need to go bring that jar right into this room. I don't think we have this one. So might as well. If I do, I guess we could sell them, but I don't think I do. Uh, so right over this way, this was the Sproingoid. I love it. you could already hear it make this rolling noise. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, our room is getting a lot more bustling with all these guys. I might eventually change where they are. But for now, I'm pretty happy with all that. You can also see what else is going on here. I do need to get this message in a bottle opened up. I dreamed I was an ultra super big time master of DIY. Here's the recipe I made in my dream. I could have kept it just for, for just me, but I like sharing fun stuff. Be careful when YDI, uh, I guess, when you do it. Do it yourself, gotcha. Uh, that's a joke. <laughs> Anyways, boomerang, whoa. Huh, okay, sweet. I want a DIY recipe for a boomerang. I wasn't expecting that one. We also get the Carrot Tops Curry over here. Huh, okay, yum. Now I can make some Carrot Tops Curry. And then lastly, the Thousand Bells. Put away. So I'll, I'll organize some of this real fast, and then we will maybe get the cooking, and then we are heading back out to uh, sell some stuff. Okay, here's our Desert Vista. Whoa. Whoa, you can see it moving. That is so cool. You can see the clouds slowly moving. And there's like heat waves coming from the desert. That is so cool. What a nice touch. We go ahead and put that in storage. Same thing with the marsh. Not the marsh, but the mushrooms. Uh, and the clay and the iron nuggets and the stones. I do sort of want to see real quick. There's a couple things I want to get on the line. First, is there anything that just I can craft with just iron nuggets? Let's see what's craftable at the moment. Yeah, there is things like this chair and this table. So I'll have to look up what each of these things cost to sell and see if I can't sell them or see like what's the best way to get bells per iron nugget and make the most of that. I don't want to use, you know, make all of it, but or use all my iron nuggets, but I have so many at this point, I could spare some. I could spare a couple of stacks of them. So that might be a project I work on between episodes, at least getting lined up between episodes. Um, in the meantime, I don't know if I have anything I can exactly cook at the moment. It's nothing craftable, but I do things like the carrot top curry, which would need flour and carrots. Uh, what were some of the other ones? We got kabu and kake. Uh, we need more seaweed for that. There was something here. I needed anchovies. Hmm. One sea bass and three flower. Okay. So definitely put away one of the, oh, this is a black bass, not a sea bass. Okay. So maybe not. And wasn't there something with the red snapper? Yeah, red snapper, tomato, and manila clam. So let me make sure that the red snapper is put into storage and a manila clam, which I think I already did. The rest of this is good to be sold. Okay, then let's go get to it. Okay, so my pockets are now full, but I did decide since I had the moment to, you know, pick up some of these and all these extra flowers that have sort of overgrown, which is good that they, you know, they grew, but we don't really need them where they were. So I wanted to tidy everything up. I still need to do a bit more of that, but for right now, this should be good enough that I can sell some of these, maybe make some profit. It is some pretty passive profit. You just put it in the ground and more stuff grows. So that's pretty cool. Whoa. Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. So let's see what we can get here. Oh, I like that kitchen area in the back. Uh, what do you need today? I wanna sell. We are going to offer basically everything here. Yeah, I don't see a problem with it. So let's see how much money we get from all that. 16,000, not too bad. It gets us up to 26,000 in total. 
and let's see what they have for sale today. So you're gonna sit in a froggy chair. I mean, I feel like I gotta get the froggy chair. I'll buy it. There's a little ironing board over here. 2,300 bells, I think I'll pass for now. Now this giant cooking range, sure is tempting. How much is it though? It's probably an arm and a leg. Open frame kitchen, 140,000. I couldn't even afford it if I wanted it. So we're gonna have to take a pass on that, but maybe one day. We got the little grocery bag, this would be so cute. I think I gotta grab this. 1,300 bells, I'll take it. And then like I said before, I'm sure that my shovel's about to kick the buckets. So maybe I'll just grab another one now. And that should be enough for an oak miles, if not mistaken. Okay, so we're down to 20,000 bells. Not too bad. I and mean, we still gained, I think, about uh, 13 or 14,000 so far today. Like I said, next up, I'm gonna run around real quick, grab the rest of those flowers, and then I wanna go on a Cap'n Island adventure and see how that goes. Okay, so I'm heading over to Cap'n's now. And since it is raining, I definitely wanna go for it. I did check my list, because like I said before, there's still fish I need to get, and one of them is called a Coleocanth, and I can only get it when it's raining. Whoa, okay, so let's see if this might be, it. it's a sea fish that you can only get when it's raining. That is not, that is an olive flounder, but hey, we'll get it. So let's keep running over this way. Mm -hmm. You ready to take a tour? Yep, so we're just gonna go ahead and do this real fast and hopefully we can find some good stuff. There's quite a few fish I'm gonna be looking for. So hopefully we can get them. Also, I learned with this that if you just keep tapping the B button, eventually he'll just let you sort of skip if, if the island's unloading. Uh, yeah, you're in such a great rush. Then you just start this voyage, let's be having a listen to me song. <laughs> it just ends, and it's sort of funny, but if you just wanna go faster with it, you can do that. Yar, we arrived. I'll be here waiting for you. Okay. So we do have more, whoa, okay. Thought that we could only get these in the Happy Home Paradise, but it looks like we have more of the spines and stuff, which I guess I'll take. Doesn't really take up much inventory space, so definitely consider it over this way. Oh, it's not raining here, so that's sort of a bit unfortunate. But, as you can see, we get ourselves a gyroid fragment there, pretty cool. Could maybe take some of these bushes if we want them. I'll have to hold on and think about it. But we do have things like the coconuts and a message in a bottle. It's so bright and sunny here. Does not feel like it's fall. So I like that, you know, a good change of scenery. Every once in a while is always nice, no matter how much you like the fall season. I think I'll save on the shells for now. I'd rather get fish. Like I said, the vines are worth grabbing because they only take up one inventory slot. Okay, so yeah, we will climb up here real fast. See what else we can find. So far, not too much. There is another palm tree up here though. And remember, we can have a chance of getting a, a golden rock. We got one last episode, so always worth trying for it. Not this time. But I'll grab the iron nuggets. I don't know if I'll grab the other stuff. You're kidding me, that was weird. Um, okay. Never seen that happen, really. But I guess the bushes aren't as easy to do that with as it is other things. Here's another one. So a ton of coconuts on this island at the least. Very tropical. These are always a good sell, so I don't mind. I'll pick up that one rock just so that we don't have to deal with that. And I want to dig there, dig here, and get to it. Okay, no money rock, but I see some iron nuggets. There's always a chance for a golden one. But, oh, I was gonna say not this time, there we go. Awesome, so I get myself a golden nugget. That's pretty cool. And the one to add to, to the collection. And we also have this. Uh, the other day I was coming up with a new strength routine when a great DIY idea hit me instead. I'd kinda like to keep it a secret, but I'm gonna trust you. Shh, I really super hope you use it. Okay, this is a glowing moss boulder. Huh, okay. Let's go ahead and drop the clay. I just don't think I'm going to need it. And we got even more stuff over here. I'll pick up that one rock. We're gonna put the rocks down later, but 
for now. Just so that I don't have to worry about it. So I guess maybe not there, but here. Actually, it might just be better to do it up this way. There we go. Okay. So no money rock with this one either. I don't think we get, get a guaranteed money rock on every island, but it's always worth trying. Especially when we get so many iron nuggets. Like I said, between episodes, I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna see what is the most impactful way I can spend my iron nuggets. And I'm going to use that strategy. Okay, let's just jump across for now, or not even. Interesting. We'll grab these real fast. I'll shake this one up. Oh, there's even more up there. There are so many coconuts on this island. This is great. Oh, you know what? I need, I was looking into this. I was trying to make some more comprehensive lists of what I still need to get in the game. I still need to get this dragonfly, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you get back here. He's a tricky one. Got him. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong, but yes, I caught a damselfly. Now it's a damselfly in distress. See, if it says yes before you, or after you catch something, that means it's something new. So that's pretty exciting. Glad we got that. Let's shake some of these up. Go. Three more palm trees up here. Jeez, it just keeps giving. All right, let's climb back down and I'll grab this. I don't think there'll be too much of a reason to get back up there. I do have one more rock over here. Or if I stand in the corner like this, would that be good enough? I don't trust it. Let's be extra careful. Okay, no money rock. That's all right. Still got a ton of iron nuggets from it. So some pretty cool stuff still happening. And these coconuts, we could maybe use them in recipes. Either way, we should be able to turn around a profit on them. Pretty well, pretty easily. This is definitely the most coconuts I've seen on one island ever. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's keep fishing for these. Jump across like that. And I think with that, we got everything. So at this point, all we're looking for is fish with whatever rest of the inventory space I have. I can drop these guys and get the fishing. So that should be pretty fun. I guess we'll start with some of the river fish here, but most of the fish that I'm missing, I think, are uh, gonna be in the ocean, like this little guy, I wonder. I don't even know if it counts as, does it count as autumn fishing if we're on an island that doesn't even have autumn? I don't really know how it works, to be honest with you, because we get a bitterling, which is bitterling typically a fish that you can get in October? I have no clue. Uh, but we get 300 miles here. And then over this way, oh no. Uh, let's re-angle that. Oh, come on, <laughs> that was silly. Like this. But I don't think I wanna worry about fishing too much here if I'm, what I'm trying to get can be found in the rain, you know? Okay, we got it. And that's gonna be a Christian Carp. Oh, that big guy, though, seems interesting. Might as well go for it. Awesome. So this will be probably a sea bass. It's another Oliflon, but these guys are popping up all over the place. So yeah, if I'm trying to just make sure that I just make the most of my time here on the island and fill my, up my inventory fast, it might just be a good idea then to just go sea diving and see if I can't find anything new that way. All right, so we're hopping in. But yeah, there are still a few things I'm missing that can show up in October that I can get through sea diving. So I'm hoping we can find those today, or at least maybe get a little bit closer. That'd be nice. So this is not new, this is just a sea anemone. Go over this way. But see, look, look at how close they get. So you can catch things by sea diving much faster than you can fishing, especially on an island like this. It seems like things just pop up more easily, more quickly. 
Whoa! Yes! I got a Gazami crab. What a gripping find. Okay, that's scary, but cool. I'm glad. There we go. There's one new thing for us. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Let's dive under the water over here. And we got a uh, oyster. It's a little shellfish. Okay, so as you can see now, our inventory is starting to fall pretty fast. I'm gonna swim over this way though. And here is another. What is this one gonna be? This one's sort of moving away from us, so you never know. Might be something good. It is, I got a sea slug. It's kind of salty about that. I don't know if there's any recipes that we can get out of catching things here in the deep sea diving. Cause it doesn't seem like that. Oh no, didn't want that. Gonna react to things later. Right now I got some things to catch. We've got some acorn barnacles. Nothing too exciting there. Okay, oh, over here. Let's dive under and we get this time something new. Nope, a repeat actually. Twice in a row we get the acorn barnacle. Yeah, sometimes I like DC diving better, not only because you progress through it faster, but it feels more digestible. There are so many fish and so many bugs to catch, but there's only so many uh, things to dive for. There's significantly less. So it just makes it feel a lot more doable. This is a huge one. That circle was way bigger. It's gonna be another uh, sea anemone. I mean, at least it looked like the circle was bigger. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm glad that we got to see Bones earlier today. He seemed nice. Unfortunately, couldn't, got a, couldn't get a gift from him. Haven't been meeting campers in the campsites as often. Yeah, I guess the hole is always that big. Well, we get ourselves another oyster. But yeah, I've just been so busy with all the other things in the game, I just haven't gotten around to it, but hopefully it's something we can get back to sooner or later. Still have plenty of the amiibo cards. They even released new amiibo cards, but haven't been able to grab them. They've been sold out everywhere. Honestly, everything Nintendo puts out nowadays gets immediately sold out, it's sort of a shame. Either way, we get ourselves, whoa, a turban shell. Pretty cool. So we are already on the last row of our inventory. There's some pretty good progress so far, for sure. Let's see what else we have. Oh, right over this way. This is gonna be there's a fish hanging out over there. Another uh, sea slug. So at least we have a lot to sell. This just popped up right next to us. More or less. Okay, almost there, almost there. Got it. This is, whoa. Yes, I got a sea cucumber. It's a bit cumbersome. Wow, okay. Cool to get that. Um. So we're gonna move over this way. Apparently I don't have that one. Where I think I haven't uh, checked off my list. Either way, over here we get another sea anemone. <laughs> yeah, according to my list, you can't find sea cucumbers in October, so either this list is wrong, or maybe that's just sort of a perk of the islands is you don't have to worry about the season as much. I really don't know. Okay, there's one over there, but then there's one down here. So maybe I'll grab this one and then that one. It seems to be a pretty hot area though. Okay, what do we get? Get ourselves another turban shell. And then back over here. Hopefully we get something good out of whatever this is. This is gonna be another, another sea anemone. And then there's another one right over this way again. In this area, just a lot of them are popping up. We're sort of going in circles, just working out pretty well. Okay, gonna go over, dive down. Let's see what we got. This is another sea cucumber. Wow, back to back. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, well we have room for two more, so hopefully we can find those pretty easily. Yep, right here. Gonna grab this real quick. 
Pretty easy grab, and it's gonna be another sea slug. Okay, one more thing. Let's hope it's a doozy. Something that will bring us in a lot of bells or something like that. But yeah, two sea diving things and a bug to bring the blathers. That's exciting. I'm glad the things are working out in that eye. Okay, we're diving down. What do we get inside of this one? Hopefully something good. It is another sea yeah. anemone. <laughs> Great. All right, let's head home. Okay, so first things first, let's run over to Blathers and donate all the stuff we need to for the uh, collection. And then beyond that, we'll go and sell our current stuff that's duplicates, and then we are going to fish until we hopefully find what we were looking for, or until we run out of time. So, we have this uh, damselfly, the Gazami crab, and a sea cucumber. All right then, that's pretty cool. So he's happy to get those. And I think that's really all we need from him for right now. So we're just gonna say never mind to that. And we'll keep moving. Okay, so yeah, let's get back to uh, Timmy and Tommy's and we will uh, do what we can with all this extra stuff. I don't know how much it'll pay us for, but might as well try. Hopefully it's a good turnaround. A good something or other. Because whatever we get here, we're just gonna sell. Or we're gonna you know, put to our deposit. Well, actually, I don't really know. Because at this point, we wanna pay off our loans, right? But at the same time, do we really need to? Especially when uh, there doesn't seem to be much of a rush to pay it off, you know? So I'm thinking maybe we'll hold off on that and we'll work on Harvey's Island. That'd be nice. And done. 4,360 balls. I was hoping for a bit more, but it's something. It's progress in one direction or another. Um, we didn't sell any of the coconuts there. I think I can hold on to those and make some kind of thing with them. I don't know if it'll be better in price than anything else, but I'll look into it for sure. But for right now, heading over this way, we're just gonna get to fishing. The one thing I want to find more than anything right now is the Colleen calf. The Colleen, Cola calf. I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically it is a big fish that we can find this time of year. Apparently we can find it just about any time of year, but we find it at the sea when it's raining. So that's what I'd like to go for. Almost, come on, come on. There it is. And that is not gonna be a Colleen calf. That's gonna be a bar knife jaw. So we're just gonna be fishing. I, I figure what we'll do is we'll fish until our our fishing rod breaks. So that might be one fish, that might be another couple of fish. I'm not really sure. We're gonna keep going until then. Right now though, there's sort of a lack of fish popping up. I was hoping for more. I thought that more would pop up during the rain time. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, so far, I'm not seeing anything. It's not because I'm walking. I know that the fish is bigger than that, but we might as well go for this little guy. Still might be something new. Whoa, right away, it's gonna be horse mackerel. What about over here? Still nothing. I mean, we could also stand on this pier. This is always pretty nice, because you can do some pier fishing. I'm just not seeing anything, though. This is a bit of a disappointment so far. It's a bit of a, a wash up. Oh, here's a big fish. Or some medium sized fish. Got his attention right away. And that is gonna be a dab. Okay, well, I guess we'll keep running. Got a little river fish, which definitely won't be what I'm looking for, but it still might be something. There are still river fish I'm looking for. Because the Kulia cat, I think it's just plain rare, because you can find it in the sea when it's raining. Got a yellow perch but it's all day, any season. So I'm guessing at this point, it's just rare. Hmm. There's Sahara again. I know that there are some fish you can only find on the pier. But I've never had too much luck with finding pier fish. Like I'll stand on the pier and it just doesn't seem like any fish pop up at all. 
Get another dab. I will walk up here. And there's one. You never know, this might be the one I needed. Okay, this is another dab. All right, well, finding a lot of those. What about up this way? Seeming a bit barren when it comes to fish. We got this little guy. Once again, not what I'm looking for. There's another one up there though, so we have hope. Okay. And that's to see yours. Awesome. Now, what about this one? Because the cooling comp is like. One of the biggest fish? I mean, it has the maximum size of six. Whoa, okay, we get a zebra turkey fish, my favorite, but still not uh, what I was hoping for. Ooh, this is a bigger one. Let's hope for it. Oh, here it comes. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Ah, oh, it's a sea bass again. Okay, real tired of seeing that guy. Not seeing anything back here, I could. I don't know if we can. Actually, I have no clue. Can you fish from here? Is that a sneaky thing you can do? Whoa, you can. I didn't know that. Interesting. I don't see any fish back there. But if we're around here, there's a lot of weeds. First off, might as well grab those. I didn't even realize these were back here. I bet you that a fossil shows up here every once in a while. I'm sure there's a fossil here right now. That is so weird. You just can't see it. Well, I'm not gonna dig up all those spots for one fossil. Sorry, that just take a little bit too much work for me. But yeah, I do wanna check up here. Because I know that another fish we've been really looking for for a while, that's not available every season, is the char. And the char can only be found uh, when it's raining on a clifftop river pond. And that's not a char. But it is a bluegill. Pretty cool. All right, well maybe we'll come back and there'll be something. I mean, down here, isn't this still technically a river cliff top? So maybe we'll find something. At this point, I'm down for anything, you know? Okay, let's uh, re-angle that. Oh, come on, that's not what I meant. Little fishy turned around on me. Come on, you're kidding. Right here. Perfect. There's no way you're not going for this one. Oh, right away. This is gonna be another yellow birch. How's our inventory? It's actually filling up pretty fast. And we got the uh, waterfall over this way. So you know what? We're gonna plop down over here. And I'll make my way to the sea. If we see any fish along the way, we'll grab them. But I don't think we'll find too much. We got one little guy here. Come on. Am I turning? Oh, there you go. And this is uh, nothing too exciting, a uh, Crucian Carp. Oh, here's a really small one. Which probably means I think that this is a boot or a rock or something. I don't remember any river fish that are this tiny. Oh no, it's a uh, bitterling. Usually you only see those near the river mouths. That's a bit weird. And there's also the pond here, but I rarely do any fish pop up there for me. Okay, not seeing too much over that way. But over here. Back to the ocean fish. Got this little one. Okay, what do we get, what do we get, what do we get? Ah, a horse mackerel. Man, I just, I want something new. I want something exciting. Oh, we're getting our horse mackerels. 
right away though. That's at least something. This is gonna be another zebra turkey fish. At least we'll be able to sell this for some decent money. That's about all we're getting from this trip so far is some extra spending cash. Yeah, I think financially the next thing I really wanna focus on, this is probably another bitter line, um, is Harvey's Island. Because there is so much convenience and utility that comes from it. I think we just gotta. Oh my gosh, this one, taking its time. There is the bitterling. Now this one definitely is not the bitterling. It's a little too small, but it's probably just a crucian carp or something we've seen. Oh, let's see for ourselves. It is a crucian carp. I caught it twice in a row. Game is that predictable, and there goes my fishing rod. So, that's all I'm doing for today when it comes to fishing. I call it quits. We tried, but I just couldn't find what I was looking for. Let's not push it. I don't wanna spend too much time on something that's not really getting me anything. So, I wanna go ahead and sell some of this then. Yep, I wanna sell. We are offering, not that gyroid, but you know, this stuff. Oh, I didn't sell that up there, whoops. Okay, so let's see how much they'll offer for this one. Probably nothing too huge, you have 12,000 bells though. I'll take it, awesome. Um, And we are gonna head out with that and definitely put some of this away for now. I figure that whenever we have 100,000 bells, we'll just go over to Harvey's Island, we'll offer up the cash and see where it goes from there. But for right now, seeing how we haven't gone to the town square, I think we'll finish off our episode in here and hopefully some good stuff comes of it. Maybe there'll be some stuff in the lost and found or something like that. Oh, hello there, Zebra. Your home is a proper basement now, does it not? You won't find many folks with a home as impressive as yours. Which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 2,490, or 2,498,000 bells, hmm? Oh, I have to discuss something. Although we can't increase the size of your home any further, well, with all the furniture and trinkets you've collected, I suspect your storage is becoming quite full. So once this loan is paid off, I'd like to offer a new service, expanding your home storage. Anyway, that's just something to keep in mind for later. For now, please keep making your loan payments through the ABD feature on the Nook Stop. Take care. Awesome. We got more debt. We got cropped pants as well, so everything's okay. It all balances out. Now over this way, yep, our second day in a row, so we get some extra Nook Miles. Is there anything we wanna grab? First off, maybe this fence? Nope, never mind, never mind, I already have it. So all it does tell you. Uh, I don't think so then. Yeah, nothing I wanna grab right now. But, we go to Nook Shopping, see if maybe at the least there is a new music disc. Go KK Rider, no, we definitely have that one. Okay. Oh, we got the Chitosame or Shichigosan. I don't know exactly what that is, but for a thousand bells, you know, might as well try it. I guess it looks like something you'd put on a doorknob. Okay, so there's that. Now we're just gonna access the ABD. And deposit what we have. So it will de deposit 35,214. This is a total of 54,000 in there. Pretty cool. Hopefully we can keep making some money and end up with some new visitors at Harvey's place. That'd be the most fun thing. But for right now, we're gonna head out of here. And I think it'll be all wrapped up. It's been a lot of fun in today's episode. The Meat Bones, got to progress with some other things. We donated three or four things to the museum. So that's some pretty good progress. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.